Hello everyone, my name is Layla and I am going to be filming a get ready with me slash get to know me. I have done a few of these videos. I never felt like they were good enough. Enough is enough. And I'm going to start off by telling you that you're worthy. Nobody defines you. You define you. You're capable and you will not allow others, expectations, society, your fears, any of those things keep you from doing the things that you really want to do from pursuing your goals from being successful it took a lot of unlearning relearning rewiring my brain to really feel like i deserved to give myself more so you're not alone and we're gonna go on this journey together i've never really like worn a lot of makeup i've always had acne Never thought that I would be so comfortable sharing that. If you have acne, know that you're beautiful. Know that it does not take away from who you are in any way, shape, or form. It does not define you and you're still beautiful with or without it. So I have naturally really nice brows, so I don't fill them in much. And I'm so used to doing my makeup in like the big mirror, but in order for me to get those angles and for you to really see me, I gotta learn how to do it like this. And I'll only get better over time and figure out better ways to do things. I'm Muslim. I've been Muslim my entire life, but I did not always used to wear my hijab. I started wearing my hijab after I had my son. Inshallah, one day like I'll do a hijab story, but I started wearing hijab at 21. Hijab is definitely not the easiest thing, of course. It's not the hardest thing either, but it's definitely not the easiest thing, especially when you didn't used to wear it before and you're used to a certain look or, you know, just like a certain vibe, a way of doing things, you know, it can definitely be an adjustment, but wearing hijab was one of the best things, one of the best decisions that I ever made. And I honestly wish that I had worn it sooner. So this is how I do my concealer. Before clean girl makeup was the thing, I was like clean girl makeup. I never liked the way the foundation looked on me. I always felt like I didn't look like myself. I literally used to do a full makeup look with not even concealer. Like when I first was really getting into like, you know, experimenting with eyeshadow and different eye looks, I would do a full eyeshadow look. I mean, contour highlight in the eye no concealer like no face makeup at all so i'm definitely not new to this i'm true to this and it's just the way that i prefer to wear my makeup i'll usually put some like over here but this concealer is a little bit light for me so i just been avoiding putting it on um over here in that area i live in new york city i'm from new york um, I'm from Long Island. I grew up in Long Island. I went to school in Long Island, but then I went to college in Brooklyn. Basically, like, all my family went to LIU Brooklyn. My mom went to LIU. My dad went to LIU. My grandma, my grandfather, my auntie. It's just, you know, it's just LIU. It's the LIU family affair. So, um, yeah. I don't know if I should like show you guys the products or whatever, but that was the Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer in the shade Cookie Dough 4.3 N. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Finishing Powder in the shade Medium. I majored in business management at first. I was a bioscience major because I did want to be a doctor. Um, but I like went through some life experiences that just made me feel like I want to be a boss. So I changed my, ma my major like right away. I graduated with my bachelor's in business management. For me, it was just about like finishing what I started. Like I don't quit. Sometimes I need to know when to throw in the towel with certain things. But, you know, I'm very persistent. And even just me doing this video is me staying true to that. Because sometimes you can definitely lose sight of like 
how you are and how you do things and what's important to you so i'm very grateful i just used the rare beauty cream blush in nearly apricot honestly i really like to just apply the blush with my hands but i just don't feel like doing it today maybe because i'm filming the video but i do like to apply it with my hands and i do like to apply like a little bit I don't like to go heavy with blush, but I, I like I like blush. Like blush is so pretty and honestly everything's coming out so beautiful right now. I absolutely love it. So I apply it like on the forehead, a little bit on my chin and nose, just to keep it everything balanced. Then I'm gonna go in with the NARS foreplay palette, the blush quad. And I usually just take all four of the shades. It's just not that much of the golden one and I apply it, set that blush in place and also to make it pop. I'm almost done. That's how like minimal my makeup is. When I'm feeling like I want a little extra something, then I will take the Fenty Glow Diamond Balm all over Diamond Veil in the shade Diamond Balm. You know, it just gives it a little extra something. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm black and Puerto Rican. My mom always said to me, like, you're the best of both worlds. And I really do feel like that. And I'm very grateful to be both of those things. And I wouldn't want to be anything else. The most important thing for me, though, is my Islam. And I'm very, very, very grateful and very proud to be a Muslim. I forgot to put on a lash primer. I usually use the Milk Kush Lash Primer. And this just makes my eyelashes so beautiful and voluminous. I'm gonna put on a little lip. I use the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme at the beginning of my makeup. Wipe that off. And I'm going to use my favorite lip liner, but it's not in here. So I think it's inside of my bag. Don't tell me it's not in here. I don't even have it. I don't know where it's at. Oh, I don't know where it's at. It's literally inside of here. Let me tell you something. Before KKW had, you know, um, went into like a rebranding, I was on the hunt for like the perfect nude liner. I used to use Nude Truffle and I still like Nude Truffle, but Nude Truffle has like a very cool undertone and I wanted something that was literally neutral. Not warm, not cool, neutral. So I had saw the KKW Beauty lip liners and I was like, let me give this a try. I still have two brand new boxes of this KKW lip liner because it is the best nude lip liner. I am a licensed esthetician. I got my license in August 2023. I've always been into skincare, you know, like just having acne. Skincare was not a luxury, it was a priority. This is my new favorite lip combo. It's the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Strawberry Pop. Look how pretty that looks. And I could definitely leave it like that, but I'm gonna apply some gloss. I'm gonna use the Dior lip oil. Oh, you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna use the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the Berry shade. I don't use it as a lip balm anymore. I'm just using it as like a, a lipstick topper, a lip top, you know, like a top coat. So that looks so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's timeless. It's natural. It's me. It's elevated. And I just, I just love this look. I'm going to finish off with the MAC Fix Plus. Let me get my fan. So that's a little bit about me, who I am, where I'm from, and what I do. I wanna film like beauty content, some like modest wear content, lifestyle content. It's about that time for me to get up out of here. I'm gonna use this hand lotion. I've been doing like a lot of hand treatments and things like that lately because you gotta keep everything looking nice and moisturized and youthful and glowy. And I love my hands. I wanna take care of them. Looks so much better, nice and hydrated. I'm really happy that I made this video. I'm very grateful and like comment share subscribe of course and just 
stay tuned for more videos, more content, and just following me along the journey. Okay, bye.